explained that they went into Gaza to stop the attacks of Hamas with the uh, missiles to weaken Gaza to attack Hamas but this is really a war against civilians we have all witnessed that it was not a war against Hamas directly the victims I mean some people say that 95%, what is a Hamas? How does a Hamas look like when you kill them? Hmm? There are ranges from 75% to 95% were women, children, and old people. Why did Israel attack the UN school when we all knew on television that there were children and mothers there? Why did Israel attack the depot of food of the UN? Up till yesterday, we saw the head of the UN standing there with the, behind him the food and the oil which is burning. So, it's not clear to me why, if Israel wanted to attack Hamas, and we have witnessed that a few years back, when they one by one attacked the leaders of Hamas. One day when they wanted to attack the leader of the PLO, he was of uh, Popular Front, he was sitting on his office and a missile came to his office, to his chair. So how is it possible for me to be convinced that this is not a war against civilians? What is the aim of the war against civilians, which we all agree? The aim is really to demoralize the Palestinians. One, to believe that we are helpless. To make the whole Arab world feel that we are helpless. So the demoralization factor is extremely important. That's number one. So you accept anything criminals in many cases. But never in the history of Palestine we saw the scale of destruction and killing like we saw today. Never. Israel claimed to withdraw from Gaza. And we were all very happy. Of course, we are all happy when Israel withdrew. And the problem is the following, that Israel withdrew, meaning that it let go from one and a half million civilian population. Now, Gaza has two borders, one with Egypt, with Rafah, which everybody is talking about now, as if it was Egypt that has been bombarding Palestine. And there is the other point, the other uh, checkpoint, which is Eretz checkpoint, which is the checkpoint between Israel and Gaza. Now, since the withdrawal, of Israel in 2005, and since the election of Hamas in 2006, Israel has totally, totally, totally blocked Eretz checkpoint and Kharkiv checkpoint, where the food comes, where the medicine comes, where people move. People have not realized that, you know, and unfortunately, Europe played a very negative role in this because first they wanted to boycott Hamas on a political level. It's a wrong decision but even though if they wanted to do it they did not boycott Hamas. They allowed Israel to make a total blockade on the Palestinian people. So these tunnels that we have here about you have to realize 60% of the electricity in Gaza comes from Israel. All the food comes from Israel. All the medicine comes from, everything comes from Israel to the Palestinian people. So at the end, since 2006, up till now, Israel has been closing opening. When people are about to die, we give them a little bit. We have seen how people are studying on campus, these students. For the last two years, is this boycotting Hamas, allowing children just to be on candles for, 
I think that the whole world contributed to this crime, which slowly, slowly allowed Israel to do what they have done. And to tell you the truth, up till now, I haven't seen Europe saying, Israel, what are you doing? I don't know what does it take, a nuclear bomb to be thrown on the West, on, on Gaza and the West Bank before Europe says, enough. So what happened is that Israel really blocked the doors of the Palestinians. Now these missiles that, Israel, that the Hamas are throwing, I think personally we call them, I just want you to know that the majority of us call them sewage lines. Sewage, meaning a pipe, a pipe of, you know, they are the most primitive missiles that one can have. I could make it, you know, you bring, bring a pipe and then you put a number of uh, nails and then you send it. Just to, to talk about numbers, between 2002 until the invasion, of Israel of this year, last year, December 27. For six years, 20 people in Israel died. On the other hand, 3,500 Palestinians from Gaza were killed by Israel attacking. This is before the last attack. Now, in the last attack, since the war started, before the war, there were four people killed on the other side. I am not minimizing on anybody's life. But when we talk about four civilians being killed, on the other hand, you have 1,200 Palestinians killed on the other side. It's really unbelievable to believe that this was again stopping these missiles. If you ask me personally, I think they are stupid to throw these missiles because they give Israel an excuse to attack. But I think we will be stupid to believe that Israel went on. Israel was willing to lose 10 soldiers to protect four lives. If you look at car accidents in Israel, you will find out that 10 people die every day from the car accidents. So you don't stop bringing cars from America because then people die every day. So the scale is really not convincing. Now we have to realize that Israel did not withdraw, really did not end its of being seen among the Palestinians. Most of the secular governments in the Arab world, whether it's the Palestinian Authority, Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt are seen by the population as governments that are pro-America, collaborating <coughs> with the Israelis. Why? Hezbollah, Hamas are seen as people who are fighting against occupation. And if you witness the demonstrations in Palestine, in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, in the world, the lead groups were the Muslim parties. So at the end of the day, I pose the question to myself, really. Now in the minds of simple people, everyday person, that the person who supports Palestine are the Muslim movement. And everything that America does, everything that Israel does, is counterproductive. Bush is the one who contributed most to fundamentalism in the world, and the same thing the Israeli government. They say one thing and the result is another. And I don't know whether to believe the results or what they claim at the very beginning. I am confused. Thank you very much.